Quantum computing is about to take us places we've never been before, places that challenge the very fabric of reality itself. Recent experiments with Google's cutting-edge quantum processor, Willow, have made scientists question everything we thought we knew. Quantum computing is no longer just the future. It's the most unpredictable, dangerous, and extraordinary discovery humankind has ever made. And it's already here. Willow is no ordinary chip. It has shattered records, solving a problem in under five minutes that would take the fastest supercomputers on Earth 10 septillion years to complete. But how? Suddenly, the impossible begins to feel possible. The multiverse, parallel universes, stacked infinitely, where every possible outcome is real, has entered the conversation. Are we about to witness the collapse of reality as we know it? Could it be that we are not alone, but in a way we never imagined? Have we opened a door to another reality? Tonight we break down the rumoured proof of the multiverse. Welcome to Mysteries Retold. Some scientists believe another universe has been reaching out to us. But how is that possible? And what exactly are quantum computers doing to make it happen? To grasp the mind-bending implications of Willow, we first need to understand what quantum computers actually do and why they're so different from traditional ones. Traditional computers rely on bits, the smallest unit of data. A bit is a simple switch. It can either be zero or one, on or off, like flipping a coin, heads or tails. A bit always has just one state. Quantum computers, on the other hand, use qubits, and that's where the magic begins. A qubit can be both zero and one at the same time. This is called superposition. Imagine if flipping a coin meant it was both heads and tails at once until you looked at it. That's the reality qubits live in. But it gets weirder. When you combine two bits, you get two possible states. Combine two qubits, and suddenly you have four possible states, because each qubit exists in all possibilities at once. The power of quantum computing comes from this ability to explore countless possibilities simultaneously before settling into a final answer. This is what gives quantum computers their superpower. They don't just calculate one outcome at a time. They measure millions of outcomes at once. That's why it's feared quantum computers could easily crack the most complex encryption systems instantly. Now, let's talk about the most unsettling thing about quantum mechanics superposition. Quantum systems can exist in multiple states at once. You've probably heard of Schrodinger's cat, a thought experiment where a cat is placed in a box with a poison that could kill it. Until you open the box, the cat is both alive and dead at the same time. This is the state that quantum computers exist in before they observe a single outcome. They explore all possibilities in parallel. This allows them to do computations exponentially faster than anything we can imagine. Now imagine stacking qubits. Just 20 of them can represent 1 million possibilities at once. The largest quantum computer today has over 1,000 qubits. By 2035, experts predict computers with 100,000 qubits. That's 5 billion bits of information, all existing at once. Quantum computing is unlike anything we've ever dreamed of, and it could unlock the deepest secrets of not just our universe, but all universes. Along with superposition, quantum computing's second superpower is entanglement. This is the phenomenon where particles become linked. Their states are dependent on each other, no matter how far apart they are. If you measure one, the other instantly knows. Even if the particles are light years apart, they still communicate faster than the speed of light. What does this mean? In simple terms, it suggests that quantum computers can solve problems across space and time in ways classical computers cannot. Imagine particles placed on opposite sides of the universe. If they're entangled, changing one will instantly affect the other. The rules of entanglement take place outside our space and time, somewhere else. Now, let's return to Willow. Google's latest quantum chip has made a critical breakthrough in quantum error correction. Typically, when you add more qubits to a system, errors increase exponentially. Willow, however, reduces errors as it scales up, reaching below threshold error correction. 
This means Willow is a massive step toward building fault-tolerant, large-scale quantum computers. And that's when things get strange. Hartmut Nevin, the head of Google Quantum AI, has hinted that Willow's success might suggest quantum computation happens in many parallel universes, lending some credibility to the multiverse theory. But here's where it gets chilling. During a routine experiment testing entangled particles, something unexpected happened. Instead of behaving as predicted, the system began to produce results that didn't just align with the known laws of physics. It was as though information was being shared from another reality. At first, the team thought it was a glitch. But after running the experiment hundreds of times, the results were the same. The quantum system wasn't just working within our universe. It was interacting with something else. Was this the first interaction with a parallel universe? Could it be that we've opened a door to another reality? During the experiment, quantum tunneling, a phenomenon where particles move through barriers they shouldn't be able to pass, was happening, but not just within our universe. The data was showing signs of interference from somewhere else. It was as though we weren't just observing reality, we were linked to it. Like superposition, where every eventuality exists until observed, Maybe our universe isn't sealed off. Maybe we're constantly interacting with others. Scientists started asking, are we being watched? Are other universes looking at us as we look at them? As the experiments continued, patterns emerged, patterns that seemed to defy logic. Some scientists claim these patterns resemble a message, almost like a reply from another universe. And then Google went silent. The results are still being analyzed, but the silence is deafening. Some researchers involved in the project have even left, citing unexplained experiences. One insider hinted at something that shook them to the core, a message from another reality. In a bizarre turn of events, it's been suggested that Google may have been instructed to shut the project down. What's happening behind closed doors? Are we on the verge of uncovering a truth too dangerous to handle? If quantum computing truly connects us to the multiverse, we are no longer alone. The revelations coming from this new technology will change everything we know about the universe and the other universes that might be out there looking back at us. We've crossed a line. And the question is, what happens next? Thank you for watching Mysteries Retold. If you are enjoying the content, please do give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It really does help us out. Perhaps there is a topic you want to see covered on the channel? Drop us a comment or email us with your suggestions. What do you think about quantum computing? Has Google really received a message from the other side? Let us know your thoughts. Until next time, folks, stay safe and ponder the wonders of the multiverse. Good night.